rain down there, Carson. Yeah. Yes, it is. And the estimates have been anywhere from about five to 10 inches of rain total. And we still have about five of those inches to go wow. over the next couple of days. So at least some good news for folks down there. I mean, we have needed some rainfall because that area of Texas and northern Mexico haven't seen a lot of rain. Yeah. And we will continue to monitor this tropical system. We might have another tropical system that we'll have to track later in the week, but we'll get there. We do have these rainfall estimates of anywhere from about one to five inches from the Texas Gulf Coast towards the Rio Grande. So in addition to the several inches that have already fallen in this region, we're going to get more on top of that. And because of that flash flood threat, it's going to be rather significant here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's Alberto and the uh, current stats on it. We just got the 10 o'clock advisory just a few minutes ago. It, it has intensified just a little bit 50 mile per hour winds and it's moving off to the west at nine miles per hour. This puts it on a trajectory to make landfall in northern Mexico likely before seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So between now and seven, this storm will start to move inland and create issues for some of the mountainous regions of Mexico. But there is the center of circulation. Lots of Gulf moisture on the northwest side of it. That's why it's been so much more humid than what we were witnessing here last week, but the storm's just too far south for us to get a lot of rainfall out of it. It's a different story along the Texas Gulf Coast. As a matter of fact, a tornado watch has been issued from just to the southwest of Galveston through Matagorda, Corpus Christi, all the way down towards Brownsville and South Padre as we continue to get this constant onshore flow. Now further off to the north here in our region, we're really not seeing much. A little bit of drizzle in western Louisiana that we'll have to keep tabs on and then a little bit of drizzle along Interstate 20, but a lot of this is probably not quite reaching the ground. As we look at futurecast, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning we should see breaks in the clouds and we'll continue to see off and on breaks throughout the day and I don't anticipate that we will see a lot in the way of showers and thunderstorms, but we could see a bubble up thunderstorm or two uh, tomorrow evening and then as we move towards your Friday, more breaks in the clouds, and then Friday afternoon we should see plenty of sunshine. But tonight, 76 degrees, best chance of rain will be two hours southwest, closer to where Alberto is. 93 degrees for tomorrow afternoon will be partly cloudy. A chance of isolated storms here and there in deep east Texas, and that will get us to the seven day forecast, which we will have the warmest stretch of weather over the next seven days that we've seen so far this year. Almost all alternating between 96 and 97 degrees for those high temperatures through next week, and that will be followed by more rain chances by the middle part of the week. Deep East Texas, slight chance of storms tomorrow, like I've already mentioned, will be dry Friday and Saturday. We'll add a few clouds Sunday and Monday with those highs in the mid to upper 90s. Isaac Casey. Thank you.